98% of mass shooters in the country are male. Some experts believe that feeling inadequate compared to peers creates long-term insecurity that makes certain individuals more likely to become mass shooters. Joining us on the Kogo News Live line, licensed professional counselor, founder of the Brain Performance Center, Lee Richardson. So th this seems to be primarily, primarily, uh, to generalize, white relatively young men what what is causing this anger or this need to act out well you know i think each of them have something in common it has to do with their background each of them has been on some level victimized themselves they've been bullied sexually abused maybe they grew up in a home with domestic violence and another factor plays into that they've also within in their environment had been exposed to guns and they perceive guns as a source of power so how do we use a, you know kind of a profile like that to actually prevent mass shootings well and it's so hard because we've tried since 1999 when the first you know school shooting we've tried to develop a profile and it's so hard because none of not most of them do not have a mental illness diagnosis. And without a diagnosis, you know, how do, what do we build on? But I think there are red flags that we can look for. And I think that if all of those young men are not engaged in, in school, they're not engaged in a hobby, they're isolated, they hang by themselves. So that's something that we can look for. You know, those people that just don't quite seem to fit in, and we don't really want to say that, well, maybe we should. And I read an interesting study, and it showed that there was a young man that had a shooting plan. Someone reached out to him with an act of kindness, showed him a little grace, and he did not carry, he did not carry through with his plan. Let's, I mean, let's be honest. In some of these cases, at least two that I can think of right off the bat, there were, there was foreshadowing by the actual shooter. Police were notified and then they still legally got guns. So, I mean, at what point, you know, we're told if you see something, say something, people say something and then nothing happens. I mean, I, it seems like there's a, a big gap there. There sure is, and that's why I thank you guys so much for having me on the show today so we can talk about it, because we've got to create a sense of awareness. It is not going to go away, and we've all, we all have social responsibility. You know, you see it, you say something, but then if it doesn't do you any good, are you going to keep doing that? Probably not, and I think the only way to create some social change around the problem, and you know, it's not a mental health problem, it's a public health problem, and the only way to create some change around that is to talk about it and to keep talking about it and keep elevating that level of conversation. Licensed professional counselor, founder of the Brain Performance Center, Lee Richardson, joining us. Thank you again, Lee. Thanks for having me.